Forage fish are the, the small, oily, schooling fish that make up the middle link in, in the ocean food web. Uh, the fish like herring, sardines, anchovies, and also some more uncommon species or less known, such as sori, sand lance, and all the smelts in the Pacific Ocean. The reason forage fish matter is they convert the protein from planktons into the, uh, food that the predator species then can eat. And, and not just the predator species of fish, but also marine mammals, seabirds. For instance, a, a humpback whale will eat up to a thousand pounds of forage a day. Demand for, for forage fish out of the ocean comes in a, in a number of different areas. Uh, one of the main demands is for aquaculture. What we're asking the Pacific Fishery Management Council to do right now, in essence, is to set aside or suspend any new fisheries on currently unmanaged species. And I want to emphasize those that are currently unmanaged. And the big point there is that this does not gore anybody's ox. These aren't fish that, that people are fishing right now. If these unmanaged species are protected, uh, the people that benefit, the winners in this scenario, are West Coast fishermen. Um, you know, we'll hopefully be seeing fatter tuna, fatter salmon, bigger salmon runs, um, healthier salmon, less prone to disease outbreaks, more resilient, more able to bounce back from the habitat pressures that they're facing inland. Um, having abundant food supply out in the water just makes the ecosystem more productive and more healthy. That in turn will help maintain and sustain the economic activity we have on the West Coast. It's a precautionary, very visionary approach to, to fishery management. And in many ways, it's just looking at a new paradigm to fish management. It's saying, let's, be, let's not wait till there's a collapse in a fishery before we address the importance that it plays in the overall food web.